Hey, this is James Glass, and I'm getting ready to work today, and um, it's, uh, it's a beautiful sunny morning, finally, a little bit warmer, it's up to 28 degrees. Um, <clears throat> we've had overnight lows in the teens the last couple days, and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about, about concrete. So, this, um, this uh, concrete here is a footing for a shipping container that I'm going to be putting here. And the shipping container is held up by those these six by six posts at the height that I want it. Um, there's going to be uh, another layer of two by six running on top here and over there. They're just going to be skid plates for when the guy drops the the um, shipping container off. And then these cross members are literally just kind of to hold the the six by six posts. The only structure are those six by six posts. And then that structure goes down to these concrete footings. So we've had some cold weather, and that's an issue because. Um, concrete is activated by, by uh, water, which obviously freezes. So until the water becomes a molecular part of the cement in the concrete, you run the risk of it actually freezing and expanding and, um, and just completely messing it up. So here's some general rules of thumb if you're pouring concrete in cold weather. If you're pouring it above freezing, you're fine. Um, if you're pouring it above 25 degrees, you're probably fine. Um, check and see whether it's 25 and rising or not. If you're pouring it deep in the ground like these footings, these things are 28 inches down and 24 inches wide. Um, I know they're overkill for just a storage shed made out of a 4,500 pound shipping container, but I don't want it going anywhere. I want it nice and square and level. And so, um, yeah, if you're underground, you're, you're, you know, you've got the insulation from the the, the earth, particularly here in Virginia, where we don't have much much frost, it's a few inches at the most ever. Um, if you're in more northern climates, then you could have frost that goes down a couple feet. But so check that. So if you're in the ground, you're better off than above ground. And then if you if you if you really have to place concrete in cold weather, you can get a cold weather additive, which lowers the freezing point of the water until it activates. And and concrete does. When it does set up, it forms an exothermic reaction, which is good. You get a little bit of heat from that, but not enough to offset literally just water that freezes. So um, you can do that. And then finally, what I did the other night is I placed these in about 40 degree weather and um, just you know used a mixer. And each each hole has uh, the the right amount and um, eight, nine, ten bags a hole and um, the, uh, what I did was I covered it. It was, it was only going to get down to 27 that night, so I simply covered it with plastic and put a little uh, dry earth over top of that, and it was fine. If it's going to get down below 25 and you're deep in the ground, in this climate, we can use a light bulb, like a 60-watt light bulb. Um, cover your, your hole and put a light bulb there. So there's a whole lot of tricks that you can do when trying to place concrete in cold weather, and, and those are... Those are uh, most of them. The important thing is you cannot let your concrete uh, freeze if it hasn't set. So at 30 degrees, set times um, vary uh, not so much, like 22 to 28 hours. So think about a day. So at 30, if the ambient temperature is 30 degrees, it takes at least a day for the concrete to set to get to 500 psi. So you, um, you know, you want you want to be super, super careful with the concrete in that first 24-hour period. Um, and if it's below 30 degrees, then you just have to find some way to warm it. And if you're in a really cold climate, light bulbs work good here. But if you go up north, you have to use concrete warming blankets and um, heaters and all kinds of stuff. But the important thing is, if you place concrete in cold weather, do not let the water freeze. Um, before it is set, before the water and the and the cement and the concrete um, bond together, it's a chemical reaction, and and the water eventually, you know, becomes a part of the of the chemical reaction. But until it does, it is water, and it will freeze. Hey, so there you go. So much concrete freeze.